Hey, what's up guys? Xenon Great here. Today we're talking about Valeria, this badass warrior right here. So, she's in the Chaotic Faction, which you already know, when their HP drops, they typically get stronger. So her talent, it'll increase her attack and defense as the HP drops up to a maximum of 60%, which is a huge boost. Uh, but then it stops increasing after you reach 30% health. First attack, basic attack. Second, ultimate. This ultimate is massive for damage. At max skilled, 120% boost to damage, just base damage. And then every single attack, she does consume some of her health, but she also gains a stack of power of the sword, which increases the damage by 50% for the final burst attack. So at the end of the uh, ultimate, it comes out to 800% burst, which is pretty big. And for Awakening 5, actually, it will boost that damage to a thousand percent. So massive burst damage at the end of the ultimate. This skill we got smashes target enemy, dealing 240% damage, inflicting vulnerability during the ultimate. Each attack reduces plunging slashes cooldown by two seconds. So not only is she going to be using her basic attack in the ultimate, but it's going to be reducing this skill's attack, and it'll constantly be using this one too. Furthermore, Will of Steel, she does have unyielding state, like Decimus and whatnot. When HP drops below 30%, she heals, but if she's in her ultimate phase and she's going to die from a hit, she will enter the unyielding state until the ultimate ends so she's guaranteed to use that final massive burst damage which is fantastic and of course arena she has a cost reduction so she'd be great in sustained dps and whatnot let's look at the awakenings she's going to be pretty easy uh to gear kind of i mean the crit rate bonus and attack bonus help a lot here's that you get an extra uh, four stacks, so another 200% damage to the burst damage, thus 1,000% total. And you do accumulate the stacks even quicker. And then when the ultimate is active and she's awakened three, it's even more boosted damage because you're ignoring enemies' defense. And another awakened one, boost to the ultimate skill, increase the attack speed by 100. Now, fun fact, I was looking into this and her stats are the exact same as Luguru's, another Chaos Nightmare faction, which is interesting. It's She's just kind of like a copy and paste of him, just different skills and whatnot. If you don't believe me, go look. These are her stats. Go look at his stats and you'll see. Alrighty, up next we got her hero gameplay, as they say. She's a low HP viable burst fighter, which is interesting. I mean, yeah, let's let's keep our people or our heroes at low health so that they die eventually because they're so low of health. Um, it's kind of niche, but there are use cases. With uh, the set bonuses... The Warlord and Ageless Wrath, of course, that's going to be your late game sets. Uh, they'd be the best on her. And then mid game, Annihilating Might and Fracture. They suggest crit damage, crit rate attack. I agree, minus the crit rate, at least on your main stat. Unless you have fantastic sub stats. I've had crit rate gear that's treated me pretty well. But crit damage and then two attack. That'd be ideal. And then your secondary attributes completely agree with all of these. Just try and get as much attack. At least 220% attack on her. 95% crit. Well, now you can do 92% because she gets the bonus 8% crit rate from her awakening. If you can get her awakened for. Uh, furthermore, the artifact they suggest is her exclusive one. And it increases her crit damage per attack which they also suggest Ragnarok, which increases her crit damage. Uh, but they have the wording here weird, where when her health drops below 
which Ragnarok, when your health drops below 50%, it doubles the crit damage, but it says Ragnarok doubles her crit damage, which I'm assuming is worded wrong because Ragnarok just doubles its own crit damage. But if you haven't known this, it's likely better to use a different artifact than crit damage boosting artifacts, specifically attack percent artifacts. Um, like, let's take a look here. This one right here. Flawless Blade. Flawless Blade would be really nice on her. Uh, but I wonder if damage taken also applies to her uh, ultimate skill. It may. If it does, then maybe not that one. But you could always go with Ancestral Teachings. <laughs> I got, let's get back to the gameplay. Yeah, so Guild Boss, I've heard great things about Guild Boss for her. I think she's, we're going to see her in some teams on the rankings uh, just due to that final burst damage. But also Artifact Material Array, taking down Salazar quick. Arena, same idea, taking down the enemies quick. Uh, that's what her burst does. That's what the ultimate is for. But yeah. She seems really well. If you guys are going for her, I wish you the best of luck. I'm going for the one plus one tomorrow. Uh, later on today, I have an exciting announcement. I created something, and I hope everyone loves it. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.